Lesson 7-4, Equations with No Solutions or Infinitely Many Solutions. I can determine the number of solutions an equation has. Explore it. The great Carlo called twins Jasmine and James onto the stage. Jasmine, multiply your age by 3 and add 6. Then multiply this sum by 2. James, multiply your age by 2 and add 4. Then multiply this sum by 3. I predict you will both get the same number. Complete parts A, B, and C on your paper. Read example 1 and listen to the video that goes along with example 1. The video is located in your Pearson Realize account. Once you have completed the video, come back to this page and complete the triad problem that goes with example 1. Example 2 asks you to look at solving an equation with one solution. This is the type of equation you already know how to solve from topic 6. Review example 2 and see if you have any remaining questions about how to solve an equation with one solution. Example 3 asks you to solve an equation with no solution. In this example, you will see that you get expressions which cannot possibly ever be equal to each other. Gil makes three bracelets and Mika makes two bracelets. They both use the same number of string colors. How many colors should they use to make the same amount of money? You can see from the sign that Gil's bracelets cost $5 per bracelet plus $2 for each string color. The expression 3 times the quantity 5 plus 2x represents three bracelets at $5 plus $2 per string color for Gill's bracelets. Bracelets by Mika cost $3 per bracelet and $3 for each string color. The expression 2 times the quantity 3 plus 3x is an expression that represents the cost of two bracelets made by Mika. Since we want to know at what point the number of colors used would make them the same amount of money, we will set these two expressions equal to each other and try to solve to find x. First, we apply the distributive property to each expression and simplify. Gill's bracelets will simplify to the expression 6x plus 15. Bracelets by Mika will simplify to the expression 6x plus 6. When you look at the two expressions now, you'll see that 6x plus 15 is supposed to equal 6x plus 6. But using our properties of equality, and removing 6x from each side of the equation leaves us with 15 on the left side of the equal sign and 6 on the right side of the equal sign. Because 15 can never equal 6, this equation has no solution. In other words, there are no number of string colors that can result in Gil and Mika making the same amount of money. Now complete the triad that goes with example 3. Now take a look at example 4. In this example, we will determine the number of solutions for an equation by inspection. Part A shows us an equation that can be simplified by combining like terms. As you can see, once those like terms are combined, x plus 10 does not ever equal x minus 10. Therefore, the equation x plus 3 plus 7 equals 2x minus 10 minus x has no solutions. In part b, once you have applied the distributive property to the left side of the equation and simplify, you will notice that both sides of the equation 
result in the expression 3x plus 12. Because both sides are identical, this equation has infinitely many solutions. In part C, there are no terms to simplify, so you will solve this equation by using your properties of equality. By moving the term 2x from the right side of the equation to the left side of the equation, and by moving the add 8 to the right side of the equation, you end up with the equation 3x equals negative 9. Because you have a single value for x, this equation has one solution. Now complete the three try it problems at the bottom of the page that go with example 4. Check your answers to the try it problems before moving on. Look at the key concept at the top of page 411. The key concept identifies when an equation will have infinitely many solutions, when an equation will have one solution, or when an equation has no solutions. Now, I want you to try some problems on your own. Your homework is to complete numbers 4 through 8, 11, 14, and 20 through 25. This assignment will be checked off tomorrow in class.